I'm Andy Pilgrim with Automobile. Welcome to another edition of Pro Racers Take. As you can tell by the chic outfit, it's still a bit wintry here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. But at the NCM Motorsports Park today, I have the Porsche 911 Carrera S. It is the new 911, the 992, and I am really looking forward to taking this one on track. The weather warmed up a bit, so I wanted to take advantage of that and do the zero to 60 and quarter mile. Here we go. Good launch. Feels like a Turbo S off the line. Zero to 60 in 3.1 seconds. 11.1 quarter mile at 125 for 443 horsepower and 390 pounds feet of torque. Those are seriously good numbers. So as we do, when we have the cars now, we try to do the half mile if everything works well and we have the cars long enough. So like a flying half mile, actually it really means it's the straightaway is longer than half a mile. We just want to see how fast we can go before basically I, I feel I need to break. One sixty-five, one sixty-five. That's that's a big number. That is a big number. That is fun. I can tell you what. That is fun. Got a nice exit out of twenty-three. One forty, solid. Oh, that's a violent turn in there. Eighty miles an hour turn into one is really quick. Uh, yeah, one of the suction, suction cups has fallen off. Uh, I will take full responsibility for that, so the car is not actually rolling like a yacht. But you'll get the idea. These Pirelli P0s are hanging on incredibly well. They are a summer tire, but they are not some super sticky option at all. Excellent turn through five, right around 100 min speed. It's excellent. The steering on this car is so much of an improvement over other 911s. It's incredible how much better the whole car is, but the steering and the feel from the front is unreal. Nice and tidy through 10. Yeah, still within track limits. Again, being violent turn there. 80 miles an hour on the exit of deception is fantastic. Listen to that exhaust. Sure, it's piped in a little bit inside the car, but outside it sounds fantastic, which is unusual for a tuba. PDK working well, giving solid downshifts, you can hear it. I let the car shift itself, just FYI. The all important, set it up for the exit, onto the straightaway. Twelve point zero two. That is a fantastic time. That's about two tenths slower only than the GT3 time. Great job. I'm going to head back to the garage where we can take more of an in-depth look at the car interior and exterior. As with the last generation, the 911 has now gone to a turbocharged engine. This is there is an engine under there. This is a three-liter Boxer Six twin turbocharged engine. And as usual, you can't see anything at all, but there is an engine in there. The other thing, which is interesting from the back of these cars, when you see a Carrera S or, or the 911, if it's got the oval tailpipes, you've actually got the sport exhaust option. On the Carrera S without the sport exhaust option, you have twin tailpipes each side, four in total, kind of like the 991 GTS 911. Porsches have always been known for having great brake systems. This new 911 is absolutely no different. This one comes with the PCCB option, which is the carbon ceramic brake option. On the front here, we have the 410 millimeter rotor with a six piston caliper. It's developed by Brembo. On the rear, we've got 390 millimeter rotors with four piston calipers. 
The tires on this car are the Pirelli P0s. On the front, we have the 245 35 20s, and on the rear, we have 305 30 21s. And this is the first time that the 911 Carrera has come with the 21 inch wheel and tire combination on the back. Most cars you see out on the street when they're doing uh, 100 miles an hour, which of course they're not on the street, so that's stupid. <laughs> Most regular cars produce lift when they're doing 70 miles an hour, 100 miles an hour. It just gets worse the higher the speed gets. It was kind of a thing when the 458 Ferrari back in the day came out and it was a no lift car. Didn't produce downforce, but it had no lift. And that's a very, very sporty car. The new 911 actually produces a little bit of downforce. And that's the first time that a 911, regular 911, not the GT cars, because they produce a lot of downforce. It's the first time the regular 911 has produced a little bit of downforce and things like this really help it out. This particular car comes with the sports suspension package and it does not have a sunroof. You can see this particular spoiler angle. If you have a sunroof, then the angle won't go up as high and you don't get quite as much downforce with the car. On the brake end, if you have the PCCB brakes, then you actually have a little bit less force than the steel brake option. And again, that's probably due to something with turbulence in the wheel well, creating a little bit more lift or less downforce. But just a couple of interesting bits with the downforce on the new 911. The 992 has obviously been pretty much redesigned everywhere. Something I particularly like, the back of the car. It looks like the GT2 RS, which is not a bad thing at all. The track width has changed tremendously. Rear of the car is now 1.5 inches wider on the track but the front is 1.8 inches wider on track. The front of the car is redesigned around the wider track and I think it looks good. I like the hood in particular and there's a bit of redesign in the front there. Before we check out the new interior, I wanna show you something new on the outside here. If I hit the unlock, the door handle comes out. It was flush, now it comes out, get your hand under it easier and it has a really nice mechanical feel to it. First thing you notice when you get in here is the smell. The leather smells superb. Seats, fantastic. The 18-way adjustables are an option upgrade, but they, they hold you in. Any Porsche seat I've been in holds me really well. The new steering wheel, I like the design tremendously. The center, particularly for an airbag piece, it's, uh, it doesn't even make you think anymore there's an airbag in there. I, I especially like that redesign. Not much on the wheel is great. This little paddle uh, here, it's more like a switch. Um, no longer do you work the gears from here. I'm okay with it, I'm fine with it. I've got paddles if I need it. And the digital dash is, well, it's just very nice. Very, very nice. Especially like the analog gauge in the middle for the rev counter, that's great. But it's just uh, really, really nice in here. So we got some performance numbers and we've had a good look around the new 992. But before we go to the conclusion, we wanted to show you some more cool corner shots. <laughs> If you're Porsche, you probably think, hey guys, we've got to develop a new 911. There's got to be a degree of anxiety when you redesign an icon of a car like this. I like the redesign, in particular the front wheel arches and what they've done with the back of the car, but there's no mistaking it. This is still a 911. But the one area that stands out from taking this car on track in particular is the front of the car. It's like front, front, front. The steering and the way you can fold this car into a corner and just toss it into a corner is like no other 911 I've ever driven. It is spectacular in the way it turns in and handles. Great job, Porsche, with the new 911.